Hello, I'm Jeff Hampton with the Hampton Law Firm, and I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about DWI with child under 15 years of age. What are your options? What are some of your defenses when you're facing a crime like this? All right, if you'll wait around also to the end of this video, I'll provide you a free ebook, The Ultimate Guide to DWI Defense in Texas. Okay, now if you're facing this, let's say you were just driving down the road, you had a child in your car, maybe you'd just been out to a dinner party, maybe you'd been out with some friends, and you had maybe your 10 year old or your 12 year old in the back of the car, and maybe the police pulled you over for suspicion of driving while intoxicated. Now all of a sudden, what you might have thought was a misdemeanor charge, you're staring down the end of a felony uh, wanting to know how to address it. Let's talk about the possible consequences of if, if this case is not handled properly. So number one, when we look at this, what are the possible criminal and civil consequences of a DWI with child under 15 years of age? Well, compared to a DWI, a misdemeanor DWI, a DWI with child under 15 is classified as a felony charge, which means there could be enhanced penalties, not only in terms of money, monetary damage, but also in terms of possible prison time if it's not handled right. So let's go through this. What are the penalties? We have to look to Texas Penal Code section 49.045. DWI with a child passenger is defined as operating a motor vehicle with one or more minor passengers under 15 in a public place while intoxicated. What is intoxication? How do they prove intoxication? Well, intoxication under the law is defined as not as having a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08 or higher or not having the normal use of your mental or physical faculties by reason of introduction of alcohol into the body or drugs or dangerous drugs into your body. Now, if you're convicted, this is a state jail felony uh, designated offense. What does that mean? Well, the range of, range of punishment on this is a minimum of six months all the way up to two years in a state jail facility and possibly a fine up to $10,000. Additionally, you could be looking at a driver's license suspension, and there's actually two possible driver's license suspensions. The first is a driver's license suspension. If you fail to make a request for an administrative license revocation hearing within 15 days of the date of your arrest. So don't forget that you need to make sure within 15 days of the date of your arrest, you need to request a driver's license hearing, and we can certainly help you with that if you need that assistance. But then the second way you can get it is if you're actually convicted of a DWI with child under 15 years of age, you can actually receive additional suspension, uh, driver's license suspension given to you by the court because of that conviction. You could also be required to have an ignition interlock device, and you could also receive a surcharge or suspension fee that hits against you. I kind of call it a DWI tax from the Department of Public Safety, Texas Department of Public Safety. Um, and here's the thing, depending on how your case is resolved, sometimes you can have some treatment and uh, rehabilitation requirements. So if the child, here's the thing, it, it, some people say, well, what if my child wasn't injured? You can still be charged with DWI with child under 15, but what if the child was injured? What if there was a car accident and the child was injured? Well, you could also be potentially charged with child endangerment on top of uh, the DWI with child under 15. Now, here's where things get really kind of scary if this happens. You see, if a child is injured and they believe you were intoxicated, CPS, guarantee you Child Protective Services will get involved. They'll want to be thoroughly looking into the home situation and whether or not be, that child being with you is in the best interest of the child. And under Texas law, child endangerment can occur when a child under 15 is put at risk of injury, physical impairment, or death due to the actions of the parent. Now, arguably to some, they believe just having a child, you being drunk in a car with a child is enough. I'm not saying you did anything wrong, but the police, if you've been drinking and there's a child in the car, I can guarantee you they're going to look to try to arrest you. Now, here's your defenses. Let's talk about some quick possible defenses for your DWI, okay? Number one, maybe you weren't intoxicated at all. Maybe your blood alcohol level shows to be under 0.08. If that's the case, the, diff there's, the state of Texas is going to have a hard time proving this case beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, what if you were 
barely over, 0.09, 0.10. But if your blood alcohol, if your blood test was not taken until three, four, or five hours later, the state of Texas has to prove what your blood alcohol level was at the time you were driving, not at the time you gave the test. So sometimes we can cast doubt as to what your blood alcohol level was at the time you were driving. It's called extrapolation. The state of Texas may not be able to extrapolate back in time to see what your actual blood alcohol level was. Okay, now what if you weren't operating the vehicle? Sometimes police officers drive up and find the person with the car turned off still sitting in the car or outside the car. And if there were no witnesses putting you behind the wheel, that's an essential element. Doesn't matter how drunk you were. Uh, if they can't put you behind the wheel, they may not have a DWI. There may just be a public intoxication involved here. Finally, did they legally stop you? Did the police have a legal reason to stop you? They have to look for a traffic violation. They're trying to establish reasonable suspicion to pull you over and investigate you. But the police can't act off of a hunch. So if they don't, if they're not able to articulate specific facts that establish reasonable suspicion, then everything after that traffic stop will be inadmissible in court. So these are just a few of the possible defenses that you could use on your DWI with child under 15. If you are facing this type of offense, if you're looking at this type of crime right now and you would like legal assistance, don't hesitate to contact the Hampton Law Firm at 817-877-5200. Thanks for sticking around with us today. I'm gonna to give you that free ebook we talked about, The Ultimate Guide to Your DWI Defense in Texas. All you have to do is click the link down here below. We'll email it right over to you. Thanks for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you on our next video.